welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in the same outfit I was in the last video you saw me in. And my makeup is the exact same from the last video you saw me in. But I am going to, this is my only day off. Well, my next day off is Sunday. But Sunday I have plans. So today I'm just going to boom, boom, pow. I am literally, this is video number two. I'm uploading one more or recording one more video after this. So y'all better be happy. You better show your appreciation for all the hard work that I'm putting into this. I am so, so, so close to 500 subscribers. Like so, 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 so close. And I am so excited. I'm, I'm so happy. I am just, I am, yay. Oh, I know 500 is so small, but for me, like it's a lot because you know, I really want to be a beauty girl. Anyway, so let's just jump right into this video. I want to start with foundation. So honestly, also y'all remember, please keep, please ignore my child because you know, she wants to be very extra when I'm filming, but I want to start with foundations. So like these are like my top products that I feel like you guys should, if you like really debating on spending money, um, I'm going to show you my favorite products that I love and that I feel like is worth spending your dollar on or saving up for. So I said foundations, but actually I'm going to start with skincare because in, in order, I do moisturizer, primer, uh, eyebrows, concealer on my eyebrows, then foundation and powder and all that kind of stuff. And my eyes are almost last. Yes, I know that's weird, but that's just how I do it. So my first product is, yes, this is a really pricey one, but I swear by this product, is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I do have the Tatcha Dewy, not Dewy, but Silk Cream as well. This one is, this one is decently bigger. Um, this one is $120, $120. This one is $68. Um, as you can see, I'm not recommend, or I don't want to say not recommending, but in this video where I feel like you should spend your money on, I would suge suggest this is a better product. I personally love the dewy look now. I'm not really into like the matte kind of look like I used to be, but I really like having like a dewy skin, like looking really good, you know? So I always use this moisturizer underneath my makeup. Um, if you shop at Sephora, like online, sometimes they have like little deals where you can get like free samples. So like that's how I tried it. I got this free sample in Sephora or at Sephora when I ordered it online, and I got to to try this. And it gives you a pretty decent amount. You can tell I'm already empty, or I still have some that I'm probably gonna scrape out when I do my makeup next. And then that's when I bought this full size product, which I got some from Sephora as well, sixty-eight dollars. This makes your skin look really good. It feels really nice. Like I've really been into skincare lately, so I highly recommend this one. Okay, so now moving on to primers. My top primer at the moment that I've really been liking is this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I really don't know how much this one is off the top of my head. I will take time to uh, list every product in, in the description box so you can find it with its price. Um, and I may probably, as I'm filming, pop it up somewhere on the screen, like, this is how much it costs. But I really, I've really been digging this primer. This primer is kind of like, it looks green, so it kind of gives you like, like that aloe, aloe, is that how you pronounce it? Aloe? Alloy? I don't know. Like, feel, so it automatically makes you feel cool as soon as you hit put on your skin. And it's actually, is sticky, but not that sticky. And it really helps your foundation, like, really, really grip on. So I really recommend, I recommend recommend this product. I love it. I love it. Love it. I do have another primer that I could say is my top primer. Um, I'm going to recommend three primers and you can just choose which one you like better. Um, I also have the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas. This is the full size one. If y'all remember, I had the small one before. I absolutely love this primer. So when I'm rotating my primers out, because I try to make sure that I use all the primers that I have, um, I rotate between that one, which is my newest primer, and then I use this one. So this is what it looks like. It's like a putty kind of thing. They do have on Sephora as well a mini, which is only $20, and it's a small one. That one lasted me a long, long time because um, you only use a little bit all over your whole face. Well, I usually don't put primer on my forehead because depending on the hair that I'm wearing, I have something on my forehead anyways. So, but yeah, this one is $52, $52 for this. I think it's worth it. I've had it for about two months now, and you can tell I barely put a dent in it. And I have a lot of I have a lot of product left. And then my last like skin primer thing I would recommend is the Forsali Skin Tune Blur. I absolutely love this as well. But me, when I use this, I usually 
powwow put the silk canvas on first and then I put this on in my problem areas which is right here and this is like underneath my eyes I'm very big on like bright eyes like or under eyes so that way I look really awake and that kind of thing and this really helps like blur underneath the skin and it looks really 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 good underneath your makeup okay so moving on to foundation so the top foundation that I have right now that I'm really, really loving, and you can tell once you see all the ones that I have, is the NARS uh, Radiant Concealer, not Concealer, Derp, oh my god, Radiant, Natural Radiant Foundation. Um, I have three shades because I was in the middle, I was trying to like test out which one, oh this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, that's what it's called. Um, and I have three shades because I was like testing which shades were mine, like which one was like my exact match. Um, Sephora has that option online where you could do a foundation match thing and you just put the foundation that you're using currently that's your match and it'll pick one from other foundations that what they think you match. So it told me that Aruba, so that's why if anybody wants to use like me as a reference, I'm shade Aruba which is medium 6. Um, this one is my exact match. I did try these two. So Valencia, so it goes in this order. So it goes Barcelona, Valencia, and then Aruba. So these are all, so this is medium four. Barcelona's medium four, Valencia's medium five, and then Aruba's medium six. And medium six is my shade. I'm more of a medium neutral. I don't really have warm like really really warm undertones and I don't have cool undertones either I'm more right in the middle so Aruba works really well for me and um, I have these three I mix uh, Valencia and Barcelona together sometimes but this is probably gonna be my winter shades um, so I'm gonna keep them around because this is my top 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 foundation I love this foundation um, I could give you a second like I'm gonna give you like two two of each category so that way you have two that you can bounce between or two that you could choose from. My other favorite foundation is the Born This Way um, foundation and I'm in the shade Warm Beige. When I lived in Sweden and there was no sun, I was the shade Golden. Now living in America, I am the shade Warm Beige. Yes. This one is really, really nice as well. Um, the NARS foundation is $49. This one I believe is it's, it's in the 30s, I believe, like 35-ish. Again, I will have this in the description box down below with all the prices and all that kind of stuff. But this is a really good second. The first foundation is full coverage, at least for me, or medium to full coverage, and this one is full coverage. Moving on to concealer. My top concealers at the moment, I have three. Um, three different types. So obviously, number one being the Colt favorite heart shape tape. I am in the shade medium. I usually, I don't use this under my, like as a normal, normal concealer. I mainly use this to carve out my eyebrows, especially when my eyebrows are not done. Um, my next favorite concealer that I'm really, really been digging is the Marc Jacobs concealer. Um, I'm in the shade medium 30 and I absolutely love this. It's a really interesting applicator too. Like, look at that. I saw this as a recommendation from Alyssa Ashley when I was watching her video on what to buy for the Sephora sale, and I really like this like concealer. It's really, really good. Um, this is probably a concealer that I will rebuy when I run out. And then my next one is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This shade that I have right here is not my shade at all. Look, it's not my shade. But like I said, I like to have really, really bright under eyes. So I would use the Medium 30 Marc Jacobs. I'll put it on, blend it out. Then if I feel like I need to be a little bit more bright that day, I'll throw on this concealer. And this shade is in the shade Vanilla. So do not use me as a reference for this concealer because like I said this concealer is not my exact match. You're usually supposed to be two shades under or lighter than your foundation. This is like eight. <laughs> but I'm that level of dramatic. Okay. Brow products. I like to use um, the ABH Deep Brow. This is obviously another uh, cult favorite. It's in the shade Ebony. When you have thick, like super super thick eyebrows, like I'll show you. When you have super, super thick eyebrows like mine, um, a pencil doesn't necessarily work. So that's why I use a uh, pomade instead of a pencil because if I use a pencil, you won't really see it, at least for me. 
So that's why I'm going to continue to stick with the pomade. I absolutely love that pomade. For my clients, I use pomade as well. Um, it depends on their eyebrows, of course. So like if I have like the thinner hair babies, I'll use the pencil, then fill it in with the pomade. Um, if they're thick hair like me, I'll use the pomade. Okay, and then for powder. So my current powders, I didn't get out the other powder because I haven't really been using it. So I'll give you the two options. Cult favorite, again, the MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm in the shade NC40. Um, this powder has, this was basically my very first high-end powder. When I moved to Sweden, like my very first high-end product was the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And my husband bought that for me at Christmas, like a few, like two years ago. Then all of a sudden I was addicted to high-end and I never went back. Um, I use it, but I don't use it as much anymore. Uh, but it, I think it is a really good product that I feel like you guys could invest in. It's a really, really good starter product. The current powder that I do use is a recommendation from Alyssa Ashley. And it's the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This shade is Matte Tan 40 um, Hazelnut. But this powder, like, makes you look so smooth. Like, I use it, so what I do is I put my concealer, I have my bronzer on, I put my bronzer powder, powder, I'll put, like, I'll bake underneath, and then I'll set every other part of my face that was not set with this powder. And it kind of, like, blurs everything together. I absolutely love this. This powder is only, like, $20, I believe. Super, well, at least in my opinion, super inexpen inexpensive. Um, I don't use that much of it, so the, it's going to last me a long, long time. And I absolutely love this powder. Like, I love it. Like, when I saw Alyssa, this was in that same video from Alyssa, which I will link down below in case y'all want to watch it. Um, it was the video where she put for the VIB, VIB sale, Sephora sale, annual sale, um, when she recommended what she thought you should buy, and this was on it. Like, it was absolutely... Okay, next product would be the baking products. So, I have two, of course, like I said, or I guess three in this category because I have several that I actually really like, and I think that you guys should all invest in. Now that I'm being... Or I guess four. Four. Yeah, I have four different ones. It, could, it really depends on the um, occasion as to what you're going to use it for. Um, sorry, I am not prepared as usual. Okay, so yeah. So right now, this is my newest powder that I'm actually really, really digging. It is the Huda, Huda Beauty Baking Powder. Um, I'm in the shade Pound Cake, and this is what I used to set underneath my eyes. I kind of rotate between my powders because I'm trying not to, like, use it all up. So I try to, like pull one, pull one for the day, so that way I'm equally using all of them. Um, this one's really, really nice. My, all, obviously, my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is my second one that I've went through. So this one I haven't pulled out in quite a while because I've been using those other powders because I've been trying to give this one a break. Um, this is $54. That I know off the top of my head. Um, my next powder, this is more of a brightening powder, is the Jeffree Star um, loose powder which I really really like and this is in the shade topaz this is more like a banana powder almost so when I really want like a super bright look I'll go with this powder I love how it smells like cotton candy this one I know is uh, inexpensive um, I don't remember how much it is off the top of my head like I said that's gonna be another one that I'm gonna have to look up and put the price in because I don't remember what it is right now and the last powder would be the Too Faced Born This Way translucent ether eth ethereal setting powder and this is also yeah this is in translucent i've been using this one a lot like a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot love this powder oh okay i'm trying to think what is next in the in my routine oh bronzer so my top bronzer product right now is well like cream product would be the Huda Beauty which this is a new product the Tantor I absolutely love this product like out of all the products that I'm going to tell you about today this is the number one that I feel like y'all need to go out right now and go buy like go right now right now right now like this is so amazing I I love this I love this stuff my shade is medium and basically, this is like a cream to powder formula. I know that sounds weird, but trust me. Like, you can see how mine is like pretty used. I know that this is $30 and 100% worth the $30 because 
oh, like when I go to do clients, I'm gonna go and buy every single shade so that way I have one for every client because this is the most easiest thing to work with. Like cream products can sometimes be a pain in the butt to use, but this is amazing. I use a stippling brush and I will just carve out my cheeks and then I'll like do like circular motions. Then as soon as you take a bl uh, bl <laughs> I'm so excited that I'm like talking so fast. I take a beauty blender and it blends out beautifully. Like beautifully, I just don't understand how amazing this could possibly be. Then, um, usually, like in Huda's uh, promo video about it, she said you can leave it just like that. I personally, like out of my own opinion, I will set it again with a, another bronzer. And this has been the bronzer that I've been using nonstop. It's the Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Megastar. Like I've been using this for like every day, every single day. Like these two is a power is a power duo. Like, can you see? Like, I have like this really cute. Like my cheeks don't no naturally sit like this. <laughs> like they naturally are not like that. This is what made that pro that possible. The Glamour Bronze I believe is like nineteen dollars. I want to say Morphe is basically inexpensive. So that one is really really good. Luna, shh, hold on. So yeah. Okay, so then my blush. So I can't really tell you like a favorite blush because all the blushes that I really use are by NARS. And well, I guess I can tell you the two top shades that I use. It would be NARS Torrid and then NARS Deep Throat. I absolutely love these blushes. These are my go-to blushes that I use on a daily basis. Like I, I literally don't reach for any other blush aside from these two. So like today I have Deep Throat on. Like, they're beautiful. I love peachy blushes, and they're easy to work with. These blushes are $30 a piece. That I know off the top of my head. And then after that would be eyeshadow. So, of course, I am not prepared again for like what my top eyeshadow palette would be. And if you're a neutral kind of girl, your my top eyeshadow palette would be the ABH. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. ABH Soft Glam Palette. Like, I absolutely love this one. You can tell just by looking at it how busted up it is. This is the number one go-to for um, neutral looks. My number one go-to for like a rainbowy look would be either the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, the first palette, like her OG palette. Like her other palettes, obviously we all know the drama with that. And we all know the tea. But her first palette, the white palette, was amazing. Like absolutely amazing. And then I also like the Morphe in James Charles palette. Like I do love that a lot for if you like to go for color. Those are my top three palettes that I absolutely love. All of them are inexpensive. Um, I see that my crap is spilling over here. Ew. Okay. So, oh, eyeliner. Okay, so my top eyeliner right now that I feel like is really worth the money is the Tarte Sex Kitten. This palette, or palette, um, eyeliner lasted me a lot longer than Kat Von D's um, tattoo liner so I know that a lot of you probably like that liner but that one I've noticed that's a $20 liner I think and it probably only lasts me and I use eyeliner every single day it starts to dry out pretty fast in my opinion but I've had this eyeliner for a long 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 time it's the exact same concept as the um, Kat Von D tattoo liner if it would focus but you get the gist it's like a felt tip liner this one stays very, 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 like, you know, usable for a long time. Uh, my favorite mascara at the moment is the Pat McGrath Mascara. Like, it's very simple. It's just in black. But I absolutely adore this mascara. Like, I really, really do. I don't know what the price of those two on top of my head are. I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. My favorite lashes is Lily Lashes. I say, like people will be like, you would spend $30 on a pair of lashes? Damn right I will. Absolutely. I love it. Like I love her lashes so, so much. Right now the ones that I have on are in the style Caramel. I absolutely love those lashes. So I have two top favorite lashes by Lily Lashes. One day if, I, if you guys want me to do that makeup collection tour, um, I can show you my entire, um, hold on one second, one second, I'll help you. Um, I will show you my entire collection and I have like I want to say 80% of my lashes are lily lashes but My top two would be in the style so extra Mykonos and Then of course caramel those are my 
two top favorites. So they do have a regular Mykonos um, lash, and then they also have the So Extra. So Extra is like tons of volume, and you know how I am with being extra. Thank you, yes. Or that extra, so if it gives you a lot of boom, I want it. So those are my two top favorite lashes. I feel like they're 100% worth the um, $30 or $29.99 that they cost. Mm -hmm. You can use a discount code. I usually use mm -hmm. P Star, which is P P Star with three R's, which is Patrick Star's coupon code, and you get 10% off. Um, I wish Lulu, Lulu Lashes would give me my own little discount code. Probably when I have a lot more subscribers, I'll start getting discount codes, and I can hook y'all up in the future. Okay, so after lashes, what is left? Oh, okay, so I can show you my favorite water liner because, you know, I always use um, white eyeliner on my waterline, and it would be ColourPop. I absolutely love ColourPop's liners. This is just a simple white eyeliner. This was probably like six bucks, so I don't know. I don't really count ColourPop as high-end. It has high-end um, feel, but it wouldn't really count it as high-end, but I absolutely love it. Um, and then after that it would be highlighter so my favorite highlighter at the moment or I have it's the same brand the same kind just I have three different ones it's by Mac the hyper real grow glow palettes I have three of the four palettes they are absolutely amazing today I am wearing the peachy style one and it's just so amazing look absolutely amazing that's what I use in all of my photos it's these highlighters I have not touched another highlighter at the moment because I am just obsessed with the MAC Hyper Real Glow um, palettes. It comes with three shades in each, so um, price, don't know off the top of my head. Also, if you are a makeup artist, you can't, like an actual license, you have to be licensed. Um, you can get discounts from a lot of different makeup companies, so like from MAC, I get a, a MAC Pro membership because I am a licensed cosmetologist, and obviously I do makeup as lib for a living, and it saves me so much money on that kind of stuff. Um, I was absolutely not prepared for my lips. Luna, shh. She's, act she's doing this on purpose. I hope you guys know that. Um, so my top lip product at the moment would be, um, and if this is like my more of like my top shade, would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lipstick in the shade Spice. That's exactly what I'm wearing right now beautiful I absolutely love it and then also I do love the Mac lip pencil in the shade spice it's the exact same shade like they're literally the exact same color it's just that one's Mac one's ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I absolutely love them like you can tell I've used this one to death because I love it love it and then my favorite favorite lipsticks of all time like no matter the shade would be Mac like I absolutely love Mac lipsticks like Mac Mac is my is my boot Mac is absolutely my boo. You listen to me me pulling my wig down because I saw it was slipping. <laughs> so those are my absolutely favorite lipsticks. I do like ColourPop lipsticks too. Um, and I do like Huda Beauty's bullet lipsticks. Like the like the little, uh, I'll just show you. Like the little, uh, I'm so not prepared. These Power Bullet lipsticks. I have a few of these, but I'm just not happy with the quality of them. Like, I love them on the lips, don't get me wrong. It's just that I feel like the construction of it is a little poor. Um, I had two of them break. Like, and I'm not even being rough with them. Like, I, I could use MAC lipsticks and be like, and it will not break. And this one too, like, this one I was just more like, and it snapped and I was like, I was mad because, and it was my favorite shade too. The one that I had out of that one, it just snapped on me and I was really, really upset. But, whatever. Then the last product would be setting spray. My ultimate setting spray that I'm using right now that I love is the Morphe setting spray. This is only $16, totally inexpensive. I think why I like it the most is because it does one of these. Like it's a mist versus like a, like when you spray and you're like, you know, that kind of thing. I really don't like that. So I like the spray where it just kind of mists on my face. Absolutely love that. And then my other, like my second choice would be the MAC Fix Plus. That you could use before your makeup or you could use after. If you want something that gives you more of like a dewy kind of glow, I would suggest the First Solly um, Rose Gold Skin Mist. Like you see how it has little specks of gold in it. I love that. You can see I've used it a decent amount of time. I don't reach for it that much, but that would be my top three. I don't think I missed anything in my skin routine. I think that's it. Yes. 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 All right.
So if you guys enjoyed this video, same thing as before, just leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Absolutely appreciate it. We're so close to 500 subscribers. Um, and yeah, same thing as before as well. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time that you see this. <laughs>